Roger Welch has sent us a New Year's postcard from Nebraska. I was wondering how to introduce these reflections of Roger's when I realized that the proper introduction was composed for me a long time ago. We are approaching 1,990 years as we measure time. Long before we started measuring time this way, a Hebrew poet, may have been David, wrote, A thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Time's a funny thing. For some, a decade is just a snap of the fingers, while for others it seems to go on forever. I was walking by this Apollo spacecraft on display on the University of Nebraska campus a few years ago, and I saw two little boys looking inside those plastic windows. The one said, boy, there sure isn't much room inside that thing, is there? And the other one answered, no, that's one of those old-fashioned space capsules where you couldn't get up and move around. An old-fashioned space capsule. What was for me just a moment in history was for those little guys something from the dark and mysterious past. You know, back before television, when people still rode around on horseback. You know, before hula hoops were invented. Every New Year's Eve, I climb up this hill behind my farm just outside of Dannebrog. From here, I have a view of the river and the bridge. At dusk, I can barely see Bolas and Carol over there. From here, I can hear the coyotes and the ice cracking down on the river. Those are the things that always stay the same, year after year, century after century. I planted this tree about 10 years ago, when it was only about a foot high. I planted this tree about 10 years ago, too. Obviously, this tree didn't take the decade very seriously. A few years ago, I set up these fence posts as a kind of Nebraska Stonehenge. Last spring, the sun set somewhere over there. Last week, it set way over here. Every year in a regular cycle. I think even if it took 12 years instead of 12 months for that rotation, we human beings would devise some period of time, like a year, because it's such a marvelous balance between too long and too short, a scant border between memory and forgetfulness. On my annual New Year's visit up here, I like to recall what's happened since the last New Year's Eve, things I couldn't have predicted in my wildest imaginings, things I might have predicted if I'd thought about them. What will happen in the next 10 years? Same as the last. Things beyond our imaginings, things we should have seen coming. The problem is, we don't know which things will be as we expected and what will come along quite by surprise. We know one thing for sure, the next decade will be too short and too long. It'll simultaneously give us too much time and too little. Jim Taylor, a Texas friend of mine, makes gumbo. He says a batch of his gumbo will feed 30 or 300 people. He says that if they like gumbo, one batch will just feed 30. On the other hand, if they don't like it, one batch is more than enough for 300. I think the next year, the next decade, is going to be a lot like Jim Taylor's gumbo. If things go well, it'll be over far too soon. And we'll hear little children talking about the good old days 10 years ago when you could buy a brand new car for only $15,000. Back before Michael Jackson was a family man. You know, back when there were elephants. On the other hand, if the years of the 90s are not so good, well, there'll be plenty of gumbo for everyone.